Hi students, in this session, I am taking a named reaction called Kanizaru reaction with its uh, mechanism. Okay, first let us see uh, what is Kanizaru reaction, then you can go for its mechanism. In Kanizaru reaction, the aldehydes which do not have any alpha hydrogen atoms react with concentrated alkali. We can take like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide undergoes self oxidation and reduction we can call the reaction as disproportionation reaction to form salt of carboxylic acid and alcohol so you get two compounds here one is salt of carboxylic acid and alcohol okay so i have taken two reactions here first one with formaldehyde and second with benzaldehyde so Kanizaru reaction requires two moles of aldehyde which do not have alpha hydrogen atoms. So first one let us take with formaldehyde now. Two moles of formaldehyde reacts with concentrated potassium hydroxide results in the uh, formation of mixture of methanol and potassium formate. You know first compound here methanol uh, we can take like reduced product or can take one mole of formaldehyde is converted into methanol we can take it as reduced product and second mole of formaldehyde is converted into potassium formate or uh, we can take it as oxidized product so one mole getting reduced and other mole getting oxidized so we can take the reaction as disproportionation reaction okay let us take second example now uh, second example is with uh, benzaldehyde you can see here also uh, benzaldehyde 2 moles upon reaction with concentrated sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide results in the formation of mixture of benzyl alcohol and sodium benzoate. You know benzyl alcohol uh, we can take like reduced product and sodium benzoate is oxidized product. Right this is about uh, the reaction Kanizaru reaction. Now let us take, take its uh, mechanism. Kanizaru reaction uh, you can take its mechanism having three steps the first step is attack of nucleophile second step we can take it as hydride ion transfer and third step we can take it as abstraction of proton let us take first one now you know this OH minus uh, nucleophile will get from uh, concentrated potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide okay OH minus nucleophile attacks on the carbonyl carbon as you know carbonyl carbon is having partial positive charge so OH minus will attack on carbonyl carbon as a result the pi bond electrons here or pi bond breaks and the bonding electrons will shift on the oxygen right so we'll get species or anion like this you can see here uh, this O is converted into O minus and we got this hydroxy group here right so to get formation of anion in which oxygen is having negative charge now the second step is this anion will react with second mole of aldehyde you can take this as first mole of aldehyde this is the second mole of aldehyde so what happens uh, this O minus R can take lone pair of electrons on the oxygen shift between carbon and oxygen so it becomes double bond here once you get double bond what happens the carbon becomes this carbon becomes pentavalent and as a result uh, unstable so one bond should be broken right so this hydrogen along with bonding electrons we can call it as hydride ion will attack on the carbonyl carbon of the second aldehyde molecule you can see here this H minus is attacking on the carbonyl carbon right once it attacks what happens again the polarization takes place the pi bond electrons will shift on the oxygen so you can see the two species obtained here now okay the first one we can take this okay we'll get uh, from the anion right you can see here oxygen will get double bond between carbon and oxygen we got double bond here and one OH will be there right okay this is carboxylic acid and from the second molecule of aldehyde we'll get a structure like this you can see here O minus this becomes O minus we can see here O minus and then two hydrogen atoms on that okay 
now the third step and the final step here we can take it as abstraction of proton you know this oxygen is having negative charge so what it does now it will abstract this proton and if it abstracts the proton the bonding electrons will shift on the oxygen as a result uh, the first this molecule is converted into uh, ion r c o o minus this is the first product the second one o minus abstracting proton is converted into oh right so we'll get what o minus converted into oh so we'll get formation of alcohol as the second product right you can see here salt of carboxylic acid or carboxylate ion this is oxidized product and uh, alcohol we can take it as a reduced product so in this way a cancer reaction takes place or, or completes in three steps attack of nucleophile hydride ion transfer and abstraction of proton right now uh, many will get doubt like uh, why we should take aldehydes which do not have alpha hydrogen atoms in the cancer reaction okay the reason uh, we can get from the uh, from its mechanism particularly first step of its mechanism okay the first step is attack of nucleophile if you are having any alpha hydrogen atom this oh minus will pick that alpha hydrogen atom and helps in enolization and aldol condensation so those cross reaction will be there right there is no uh, attack of nucleophile on the carbonyl carbon if if we are having any alpha hydrogen atoms remember if you are having any alpha hydrogen atom there will be aldol condensation but not canizero reaction possible okay that's the reason why uh, one of the main condition in canizero reaction is aldehydes which do not have alpha hydrogen atoms only undergo canizero reaction okay if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you